Hello, perpetrators. Very special agent Richard Brzee here, and we've got a special episode for you today. We're going to be going in this building right behind me here and convincing Congress of exactly why they need to enact California gun laws nationwide. Now, I realize with Joe Biden in power and the Democrats running the entire country, this is probably a waste of my time because they're going to do it anyway. But I think we all agree that California has the absolute best and greatest and most wonderful gun laws that have ever existed. And any bit of extra help to get them to do that is exactly what this country needs right now. And this isn't just so that I can have an extraordinary amount of extra powers. It has nothing to do with that. Hello, Congress people. My name is Special Agent Richard Bizet, and I'm here to help you guys come to the decision that you've already came to, which is to bring California's gun laws nationwide. And we're going to talk about why that's great and how great California gun laws are. And here to help me today is Sebastian. He's from our technical branch. He made hey, our Congress. slides. Hey, Congress. Thanks, Sebastian. And uh, I was up a little late last night, had a problem with the wife, but it's all worked out. So I didn't oh. have a chance to go over the slides beforehand. But Sebastian did a good job. So I think we're going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. All right, let's hit this. Next slide. Click. All right, so first slide here, what are we going to be learning? Like I said, we're going to be going over California gun laws and just how great they are and why you guys need to put them out there. There's a bunch of California gun laws that are absolutely wonderful that we're not going to be able to go over, so we're going to just go at the main ones that I think are most important. They got things like magazine bans and ammo background checks that are absolutely hilarious, and we can talk about those later. But the biggest part about California gun laws that is most important here is the pistol roster and the assault weapons ban, and we're going to get into that. Click. All right, first slide here we got, we're going to talk about the pistol roster. And the pistol roster is one of my absolute favorite things about California gun laws. Uh, Ooh, basically, I... we get to determine what is safe. And by we, I mean you guys. Oh, and then you, if there's anything you don't like and that's not safe, it can't be for sale. And then I get to arrest people for it. It's going to be absolutely yeah, great. One of my favorite things about the pistol roster is this little quote down here on the bottom of this slide. That's a real cool. quote, by the way. California Supreme Court actually said this. Well, paraphrased. Just because the law is impossible to follow is no excuse for not following it. And I think that's just absolutely beautiful. It lets, so beautiful. lets you guys just make whatever laws you want. And no matter how ridiculous or absurd they are, I get to arrest everyone for it. I think you all agree yeah. that that's yeah. going to make yeah. the country a better place. All right, let's, let's move on. Next slide. Click. Okay. What was this? Um, Jesus Christ. Sebastian, why are you doing this to me again? This is... What can you explain what's different here? Because I, I don't really see a difference. Can you can you help me out here? So, Mr. Bazay, let me see if I get this clearly. You want me to explain why there are what the difference is between these again? two pistols are? Look, you you did this to me last time with these slides. This is the say this looks like the same gun to me. What's the difference between these two guns? Why is one safe and one's not? I mean one's on the left side and one's on the right side. What but but why does it say safe? Because it, it's safer than the other one. When I gave a little skiddly do into the uh, computer to determine whether pistols were uh, legal or illegal in California, that's what came up. The one on the left said safe. The one on the right said not safe. Uh, Jesus. All right. So let, let's take a look at this. Let's really look at these these guns here. The one on the left, hold on, let me get a little skilly do real quick. The one on the left is a Gen 3 Glock. And the one on the right, skilly do is a Gen 5 Glock. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. So, uh, I mean, these are, but basically these are the same gun, everybody. And that, that's also why the pistol roster is so great, you see? So I mean, great. the one on the left is clearly safe because California said it's safe. And the you one on the safe. right, which is basically... A more modern version of the one on the left with almost identical features and, and inner workings for the most part is actually not safe because not they safe. No. didn't say it was safe. No. And I think that's a feature. That's absolutely a feature of this law. It's Thanks, gotta be. I that's guess. It's gotta be. All right, next slide. Click. God damn it. Here we go again. Sebastian, what what's different about these guns this time? Come on, man. What's different here? Well, Mr. Beach it, um though. I went on uh, Springfield's say. website, and they said that the Let's ones say. on the right were not California compliant. So I just decided to list it on the right side saying that it is not safe, and the one on the left is safe. Okay. 
All right, guys. So basically what we're looking at here is two guns. We found them on Springfield website and one's safe and one's not. And we're not really sure why. So we're just going to go to the next slide. Detail. Click. Oh, look, a slide that actually makes sense. Thanks, Sebastian. You're welcome, Mr. So, Bidet. So here we go. We've got, uh, I, can, I can see the difference between these two guns. You see the one over here is safe. And the one that's not safe actually has an additional safety feature and is a newer model. And so that additional safety feature, that grip safety back there, that makes it not safe, I guess. All right, next slide. Moving on. Click. Okay. More slides that basically show the same gun. Great. Good, good job, Sebastian. No problem, Mr. Bidet. Yeah, I wasn't serious. All right, so let's look at this. Obviously, we've got two 1911s here. Uh, one of them's safe. One of them's not safe. Let's take a good look. Oh, the safe one was made in the Philippines and is extremely low end. It's probably not really going to work that well. That and the other one sense. over here, that's a Wilson Combat. It's kind of a higher end, well-made American gun. And so th this is another feature of the roster is, you know, clearly we've got this gun over here that is the better gun, but we get to say it's not safe. And now they can't buy it, which is good because now they can buy the safe one that uh may or may not work which is great all right move, next slide Keep moving it. on let's go click all right so this is a good slide here um this is talking about basically california's idea that cops are always safe so essentially Our any safe. gun that would be unsafe is safe for a cop to buy because even though california's decided that the gun is inherently unsafe if a cop has an unsafe gun it makes it safe I guess that which makes sense, sense. So let's let's check out. It looks like we've got a video prepared of a, a police officer showing us some gun safety. So let's go ahead and, and watch that video. Click it, Sebastian. Should I play it now? Yeah, play the video. Okay, right now. This is a Glock 40. 50 cent, too short. All of them talk about Glock 40. Okay, I'm the only one in this room professional enough that I know of to carry this Glock 40. I'm Please stop the video. Stop. Sebastian, why did you put that video in there, Sebastian? What are you oh doing? My God. Mr. Bajay, I am so sorry. I didn't look at the video. I just saw that it said he was the only professional able to carry this weapon. We're trying to make the cops look good. Why would you use that it's, video? It wasn't, it wasn't on purpose. I did it on accident. I'm in front of Congress right now. I don't know what you're talking about. The cops are good. Why, why would you do this? He did really well until the just, end. <laughs> just, just, we're, we're moving. Stop. Click. All right, moving on to the next part of California gun law here. We've got the assault weapons ban. Hopefully we got some good slides coming up here that aren't like the last ones. But, all right, so what California's done is really great. They just basically let you have all the same guns that you would otherwise have, but they made it illegal to have your guns look cool. So if they make the guns look ridiculous, then people won't want to post them on Instagram anymore. And that's what gun owners are really doing. They're not actually using their guns. They just they just post Mich them on Instagram. Mr. Bajay? What? What, Sebastian? Is an Instagram a model of firearm? Jesus Christ. It's the... It's just... It's, it's the internet. Aren't you a tech guy? It's the internet. What, it's it, on the line. Did, all right. Ne next slide. We're just next slide. So starting off the California assault weapons ban, we're going to talk about assault rifles. And that's, that's basically what I think we're going to focus on here. Um, so they have main features. And the idea is, is if you take out one of these main features, then it's no longer an assault weapon. So let, let's, uh, yeah, you get it. It's fully semi-automatic, capable of accepting detachable clips and, and center fire. Those are the main features. All right, next slide. What is this? These look like this. Sebastian, why, why is this in here? Why did you put this slide in here again? Why are you doing this to me? So let me see if I'm understanding this clearly. You would like me to explain why oh, these it. different guns are on oh, this slide it, specifically? Yes. What? What? Why is this slide in here? I didn't. I didn't go over this. You were supposed to go over this so, for me and make it easy. Why is this slide so, in here? So, Mister Bazay, let me see if I do understand this. You want to know why this slide has the same looking uh, weapons, but they're classified differently? Yes. Yeah. Why is the slide here? Tell me why the slide's here. So, as what what I'm understanding is that you want to know what's going on. Well, I gave a little skiddly do into this uh, computer of mine, and it popped up as a determination that it is classified illegal. 
Okay. All right. So we're not really sure why this one's in here. I'm sure it means something, but we're gonna we're just gonna move on to the next slide. Let's just move on to the next slide now. This is this is ridiculous. Click. Jeez, Jesus Christ. Another one? Sebastian, what are you doing? These are the same this is the same gun that was on the previous slide. Now this is the same gun. Why I don't know about this stuff. You were supposed to make it easy. What is going on here? Well, Mr. Bazet, let's take a look at these. Uh there's gotta be something different about these, right? Well, I don't know. I don't know anything about California law. You were supposed to do this so that I didn't look dumb in front of Congress. What's, what, what's happening now? So, let me get this straight. You didn't want to look stupid in front of Congress, so you're confused about why these I hate my life so much. two different weapons are one standard and one's not allowed? You, you know, just screw it. We're moving on to the next slide. We don't know. What, we're just moving well, on to the Mr. next B slide. Mr. Bizet, I gave a little skiddly do, and it, it it came out like this. This is what it classified as okay and not okay. Are Are you kidding me? Look at this slide. You did the same thing on this one. What What does gassy and not gassy mean? Why Why would, would it's the same gun? All three of these slides were the same gun. Why did you do this? Well, Mr. Bizet, uh, if I'm understanding you clearly, uh. Well, the reason I put them up there as gassy and not gassy is because one apparently based off its determination was gassy and the other one was not. You know what, Sebastian? Just stop. Just stop what you're doing. We're, we're just going to move on. We're just moving on. This, this is, Just click. Now we're going to talk about the sub features of an assault rifle in California. You got pistol grip, foregrip, flash hider, and uh says collapsing stock there. So we're going to see what that... What that looks like, I'm sure, on these next slides here. Click. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so this is an AR-15. Both of these guns are AR-15s. You'll just see that, that one of them looks cool. That's super cool. It, yes, it's super cool, Sebastian. One, one of them looks cool, and one of them looks dumb. So like I it, was saying... Is that an Instagram gun, Mr. Bizet? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's Instagram. So like I was saying, one of them will make you look cool on Instagram and one of them won't make you look cool on Instagram. So what the law does is make the one that won't make you look cool illegal, even though they're technically the same exact gun. All right, let's see what else we got here. Click. Ah, here we go. The old AK-47. And as you can see, one of them, that one looks like a terrorist has it in a movie. It looks super rad. Can't have that one. And the other one over here, I mean, you know, I don't even know what that looks like. It's absolutely absurd, but nobody wants to have that thing. It's it's nonsense. The other great part about this law, by the way, is these parts are actually super interchangeable. You can switch them back and forth in under five minutes, oh. but they can't actually post the pictures of the cool one because then I'll come arrest them. That's the best part if we act, enact this nationwide. All right, next slide. Click. Ah, here again. Exact same gun. This one over here is in a chassis. And this one over here that looks dumb, yeah, you look like an old grandpa on a range using that thing. Like, and come on, it's 2021. Nobody wants to have pictures of that thing on the internet. So you guys kind of get the idea of this law here. All right, let's keep moving on. Click. All right. So what we talked about today was California's major accomplishments with their law and why you guys should bring California law across the entire nation. Yes. And I know some people think that California law is a little bit bizarre. Wait, but I thought it was Mr. Bizet, not bizarre. That I wasn't saying my name. All right, so... You said bizarre. My name's... Just stop. Stop, Sebastian. Stop talking. I'm in front of Congress. Stop talking right now. I'm trying... Just let me get through this. We're almost done. Let me get through this. So, so you're saying you want me to stop? Stop talking. All right, so what we learned today was how California handguns are super, super safe, especially if the cops are holding them. That makes all handguns safe, and why that's exactly why you guys should enact a pistol roster nationwide. And the next thing we learned is that if you make gun owners look sad on Instagram, they're just going to give up their guns. And I think that, you know, I've been convincing enough with no help of Sebastian, but I think that I did a convincing enough job to, to help you guys come to the right decision. So thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Bizet. I, I wasn't thanking you, Sebastian. All right, we're, we're done. You we're done. Thank you. Just just turn the slide off. Zippity do da, zippity day. A cop shot his leg in front of Congress today. Bizet looked dumb in front of Congress all day. Zippity do da, zippity day. Don't post them on the line today, or be shit. We'll put. You way California gun lodge coming your way.
All right, turn the song off. Song's over. My name's Bizet. It's not Beats It. Well, anyway, perpetrators, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you're going to enjoy all of California gun laws coming to your states. Look at you, Texas. You're really going to love this stuff. And as always, if you're liking our videos, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and consider hitting that bell thing. We're not really sure what it does, but we see other people on YouTube asking people to do it, so we figured we'd do it as well. Have a nice day. I don't think that the ATF or any executive branch, for that matter, should be writing laws or changing the laws that we have written to accommodate uh, public sentiment.